Hey, this is Aubrey. And this is Marky Mark Markellis. And this is your boy Joey, and we are from the So Wizard Podcast telling you, please don't listen to Pina Comics. Find something else to do, like giving your goldfish a bath or washing your hair or maybe listening to So Wizard Podcast. F dem hoes. Hey there, this is John from Pina Comics. And I'm Lloyd, also from Pino Comics. And I'm the other John, and uh, you get it by now. As you may know, we sometimes use language on this show that can be described as... Filthy. Okay. Reprehensible? Uh Uh-huh. Uh, crude? Sure. Nasty. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Come on, guys. We all know that it's just plain out gutter talk. You've been warned. Listen in. You've arrived at Scary Larry's House of Universal Horrors. Oh, it's another episode of Piney Comics coming at you live. But you know what you just heard? You heard five the voice. Of silence. You heard five <laughs> seconds of silence, which I'm going to cut out, so that's not going to make sense, John. <laughs> <laughs> Sir John, Johnny Ganache, and the Manster sitting here with our friend, Scary Larry Dwyer. Hello. Which means one of 15 <laughs> things. Danzig impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> we're either talking about Danzig. Whoa, or, <laughs> we're talking <Yeah>! about... <laughs> We're talking about wonderful uh, Will Ferrell comedies. This is all stuff you missed, by the way. But what we're talking about tonight is, since we're at Scary Larry's House of Universal Horrors, we're talking about the next in line. We did Dracula from 1931, which brings us to later in 1931. (laughs) 20 minutes later. 20 20 minutes minutes. later. They made this movie. Release it one month later. Frankenstein, dun dun dun. Yes, Frankenstein. That's right. The uh, wow. Was the, that that the theme music for Frankenstein? It, it is. Really? Well, there was no music again, really too <laughs> wow. much. So I'm I'm gonna write it later yeah, on. Absolutely. And you're a musician, Larry. So maybe you can help I'll me score out. it. I'll score it. All right, Larry's gonna I can, score. I can only imagine. Larry's gonna <laughs> score my version of Frankenstein. Perfect. All right. So Lloyd, Frankenstein. What did yeah. you think right off the bat? Were you were you excited to get into this, or were you a little uh, a little reticent? Did Dracula? I know you liked it, Wait. but were, were you? Was I excited for Frankenstein? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah sure. Yeah. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Did you have to chub up first? Yeah. I was yeah. excited for it because I didn't really love Dracula. So I wanted something to tell me that these universal <laughs> horror movies was going to turn in the direction I wanted it to. I, I, yeah, this one is more along the lines of horror for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, yeah. there's a lot going on here. Larry, yeah. before, before we even get into talking about Frankenstein, yeah. uh, what is your personal history of Frankenstein in terms of... When did you see it first? Uh, we talked about how your dad kind of got yep. you into these movies. Your mom was more of a modern horror yep. uh, person, getting you into movies like, like I'm sure, like Chud and weird stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, actually, but your dad yeah. got you into like the <laughs> like, Chud. like you said, I know why you said Chud. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, the Universal stuff was my dad, no doubt. Um, and Frankenstein was definitely one of them. Frankenstein and Bride of have always been You're right. My Frankenstein sure. I'm I didn't Frankenstein realize that till right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to trying to keep with the you know. You're doing a good job. I'm I'm doing what I can. I'm doing what I can. I got the little Frankenstein guy with me here. <laughs> um, Frankenstein and Bride of have, have <laughs> always been. Brings the guys. <laughs> I've always been favorites. Um, I was actually talking to Mike Simonetta today at work. You know the guy who does the, the yeah programming of your Connecticut yep, Club yep. Classics, right? Um, and just like me, he hasn't seen Frankenstein in probably close to 20 years mm. or so. It's been a long time since I've seen any of these films. So this was a, a, a first watch in probably 20 years, and I forgot not to really get ahead of ourselves, but how good Frankenstein really is. It really is. I, I'm yeah. actually going to jump on that boat as well. Yeah. I wasn't super impressed with Dracula. No. We talked about it. 
I no. think Dracula was you again like the bat. I kept on saying during the Dracula <laughs> show Boris that everything I liked about it was based on the fact that it was made in 1931. Right. It was very admirable that this was made in 1931. Right. But when it came to story, you found yourself to, making excuses for a lot. I really of it. was, and yeah. it's actually kind of funny because I wanted to bring this up. Uh, the last cult classic show you did, um, I, I ran into Matt Wilson, who does the, yep. uh, the graphics and stuff, and does the uh, the, the uh, posters that you saw there. Yep. And uh, Matt said he had listened to our first episode and he loved it. Yeah. And we were talking, and I said, you know, I felt bad kind of not being enthusiastic about Dracula. He's like, why? It's a shitty movie. And I'm like, okay, I guess it's okay to, you know, I'm worried being in, like, that room full of, like, horror enthusiasts. That if you say, like, 31 Dracula isn't that good that you're going to get your fucking ass handed to you, you you have to say, okay, for a movie that old, almost 100 years old, there is some redeeming qualities. But in terms of did this scare me, was the story intriguing, it didn't hit me. Frankenstein hit me. It's called called production quality. That's all. My cousin Torbjorn really liked our Dracula episode, just so you know. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. Excellent. Well, thanks, cousin Torborg. What's his name? Tor- Tor- Torbjorn. Torbjorn. Oh, Torbjorn. Oh, of course. <laughs> he's, he's from Sweden. Ah, okay. <laughs> of course, it was either Torbjorg or Torbjorn. Yeah. I said Torberg. I think that was... <laughs> Tor- Torbjorg would be a different country, I think. Yeah. And actually, Tor- Torberg, or Torbjorg, as you said, is one of the later Universal Horror movies. Oh. <laughs> the the <laughs> Cabinet that, of Torbjorg. No, that, that would be a Hammer Horror movie. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking the wrestler Dale Torberg, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get a couple of, uh, of uh, I guess, uh, factoids. It's okay. You don't have to ask me what I thought about it. Oh. Fucker. Did I skip you? I'm yeah. sorry. You're too busy jumping over them. It's just because I haven't been here in a few fucking weeks, you asshole. You missed, well, you missed one oh, week. There we go. <laughs> you missed one week. What was, so what was it? Uh, yeah, you when you were in... You were no, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not going to tell you now. Oh, go you're going to be that guy. <laughs> you're going to be that guy. My wife plays that game with me sometimes. What's wow, wrong? Really? Oh, come on. <laughs> You've been there, right? Anybody married's been oh, yeah. there. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. what's wrong, baby? I, you could I would have told you before, but you didn't want to listen. Got a bottle cap, <laughs> yeah. bounce it right off your forehead. I don't need a bottle cap because when my wife hears this show, I'm going to get a yeah. fucking shot right in the face. But then that's when you say, "What did you say?" I wasn't listening. Yeah, I wasn't listening. I didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. So, uh, what, uh, John? Is this? I, had, a, I hadn't like Larry. I hadn't seen it in 20 years or more. So it was uh, it was an eye opening experience to to sit down and. and See scenes that I don't remember seeing. We'll go. We'll go through that when we get to it. But uh, it was it was enjoyable. Larry, I have a question for you. Uh, oh, we know that you uh, enjoy the horror movies with the kids. Yep. Was this one? Did you show the kids this or no? No. You you think this would just snooze them right out? No, I actually. After rewatching it, I think that this is one of the few universals that would actually keep their attention. You think so? I think it might, and I, and I might give it a shot probably in the upcoming weeks. See if they'll sit through it. Okay. Um, unlike Dracula, Dracula <laughs> definitely would not. No. You no. know. Fuck you know all the, all the respect in the world, all the respect <laughs> in the world to it, but it doesn't hold up. And I think I even said it on on our podcast. It's nothing that you would want. You wouldn't recommend to a sixteen year old kid. Hey, go you watch that because yeah. they just can't. They wouldn't be able to sit through it. I think this. I think Frankenstein still stands up as a, a solid movie. Yeah. Look, look at the, so, look at the difference in the in the production quality. And and yes, I'm going to say it again. But just <clears throat> overall for Frankenstein compared to Dracula, the set design. Mm-hmm. The, the special effects. Yeah. There is so much is improved upon in a, what, an eight-month period? Like yeah, a very, same very, very yeah, small right. period, yeah. So it's it's just amazing. It looks like they threw a lot more money yeah. Well, it came movie. from Dracula money. But, which right. is what I'm thinking, right. yeah. It, they they realized that they could do a lot with this. Yep. You know, and they're not, they don't have to pay anybody for uh, for rights for the, for the characters. Right. Mrs. Percy Shelley. <laughs> yeah, did you like that? <laughs> I, I think that's right. what she's credited as she is. In, in the original... Uh, Oh, volumes. on the book too. Yeah, okay, in the, vo- in the original volumes, I don't think they. they I think they use Mary Shelley now. Okay, but back in the earlier editions, I think it was Mrs. Percy. Shelley. Well, I, I was surprised oh, by that. that. Yeah, yeah, because okay. I had only ever heard Mary Shelley. Yeah, right. in 1931. You know, if you're a woman, and you wrote something. You're, you're just whoever you were married well, to. That was even before <laughs> then. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Pretty amazing. So, the story about the Universal Horror Movies, I was reading more into it, is that in 1930, Carl Lamely, who we see the name constantly, we talked about him, he's the producer. <clears throat> the Lamelys were the founding family of Universal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what? in 1930, they had had the worst year they had ever had. So, when Dracula came about and made, you know, whatever we had said it made, you know, for, for that time, it was a huge hit. Top Brass, being Carl Lamely's dad, basically said, Senior. Senior, <clears throat> make more of these. And that's what we did. We uh, we we ended up. Uh, this came out November twenty first of nineteen thirty one. If I remember correctly, we said Dracula came out in February. Yeah. So of nineteen thirty one. So we're like you yeah. know like nine yeah. months later yeah. basically. Uh, Dracula. So had, think think about 
how quickly the turnaround had to be to get this movie exactly. made. Exactly, exactly. They probably and, and saw the it. weekend numbers and went, yeah. let's yeah. do this immediately. Right. right. The This movie had a $291,000 budget <laughs> and made $12 million. And, and think about that. $12, $12 million, million. $1931. Exactly. When, when your ticket prices are a nickel to a dime. Right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's a lot of money. People were seeing this like seven times a day. It's, yeah. like, yeah. it's like, what did you do today? I didn't eat today, sir, but I saw Frankenstein seven <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite the movie, quite the movie. Indeed, I'll go back to the Nickelodeon as soon as you say. Uh, as soon as you say. <laughs> so uh, the director of this one, uh, this was produced by Carl Emily Jr., uh, directed by James Whale, and we had talked about on a recent podcast, uh, not the Universal Horror one, wasn't it? But no, it was the uh, it was one of the ones we did. Yeah, where John had mentioned uh, a movie. Uh, if you want to check it out, oh, called, what was it? Uh, Gods, Gods and Monsters. Monsters. Gods yeah. And Monsters yeah. Great movie. You've seen yeah. it too. Okay, yeah. I've never seen it. Oh, it's yeah. an excellent movie. Yeah. Which is kind of like has Brendan Fraser in it. Has Brendan Fraser, who we've been talking oh, yeah. about all night, and so. Ian McKellen <laughs> as James Whale. Yes, who is uh, incredible, of yeah. course. Yeah, he's yeah. he was a. a James Whale himself. Mm-hmm. Um, that was one of the things I really he, liked about he's this a movie. Very, he's a he was a forward thinker. Yeah. Oh yeah. Beyond this the this facts, movie, besides you know. the the besides the sets and everything being a step above Dracula, yeah. the acting is all oh, a oh, step we, above. Yep. Well, well, within within reason. I mean, you're looking at uh, a much smaller cast in Dracula versus what's in in Frankenstein. Yeah, you're right. You're um, right. But you go back and listen to our, the show about Dracula and how much we raved about mm-hmm. the guy that played Renfield. So yep. you're, we're going to get that again yeah, in this one. I yeah. Know. Yeah. Dwight Fry is just, he, yeah. he was the universal horror all-star. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and when you think about it, to this day, people still riff on some of the things that he did in this movie. Oh, yeah. To a, to a different degree of, of what uh, happened with Dracula. I mean, it's, you're not seeing a Muppet based on Dracula right, right, you know, right. or anything of that nature. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, but, right. You know, but you did see but you might. Well, Herman you Munster. Gotta count. <laughs> Herman, yeah. Herman Munster. They based an entire like, kind of sitcom based well, on this version of Frankenstein. L- l- less on, less on uh, Victor Frankenstein, but more on the monster. Right. So. right. Yeah. Well, you know, Lugosi was originally supposed to play yes. the, the doctor. He was right. supposed to play Dr. Frank. Well, he wanted to play Dr. Frankenstein. You imagine and that. Lemley was like, no, you're going to play the monster. Yep. And they did a bunch of makeup tests. And they, and yeah, he's yeah. just like, it didn't no. work out. And they had a they had another director originally too, the guy who Carl did, uh, Frund. He did the Marx Brothers uh, coconuts. Oh, really? Yep. Um, oh. And they so they canned him and Lugosi. I, I apologize, not Carl Frund. Carl Frund did the Robert, mummy. Robert Robert Flory. Flory. Yeah. Uh, he was a uh, yeah. He was a director, and uh, and they actually filmed, like you said, yep. makeup tests on the set of Dracula. Yep. Which have been lost. They've never been recovered. Right. right. And the the initial direction they were going in, in that Frankenstein, the Lugosi character, the Frankenstein monster he was going to play, yeah. was just going to be a full on psychopath, maniac, right? Yeah. Maniac, just yeah. a murdering maniac. And he, he come here, little girl. <laughs> I will kill you now, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> he and he didn't want to do it. He actually had. A, I wish I had written this down. I did not write it down. But he made a comment about what a star he was in his country, right? Sure. Right. And uh, and how he wouldn't be, you know, treated this way. Yep. So what they did was when they said that they let those two go and then brought James Whale in right. and brought Bar- Boris Karloff in, yeah. uh, they they said to Flory, the director, pick another Universal Horror movie. Right. And they made, um, together they made the... Um, Murders in the Rue Morgue. Murders in the Rue Morgue, yeah. oh, which, which yeah. ended up tanking. Yeah. But it's a great movie. I haven't seen that. Oh, it's yeah. so good. Yeah, which isn't a surprise because I haven't seen Frankenstein. <laughs> You never saw Frankenstein before this? I don't. I all of these movies have one thing in common for me. Unless I saw them as a very small kid, it's black and white. I well, <laughs> and they're in black and white. Unless unless I saw them as a very little kid, I I don't remember seeing any of these. I remember a guy that used to work at Max Comics in Middletown who refused to watch any movie if it was in black and white. Oh no, I have oh, no problem with refused. that. Refused. I have no problem with that's that. So that's just dumb. It, yeah. it was. And and when uh, when TNT used to colorize them, which oh, I refused the to watch. You remember the first time you watched that? I remember the first time I. Saw Dick. Night of the Living Dead. Oh colorized. God, it was so awful. Yeah, I was I was like personally offended. Like, what, have, what have you done? The colors were so bad. <laughs> what have you done? No, see, I, I I've seen things colorized uh, like when when Turner was doing it a lot, and yeah, even stuff I didn't yeah, care about. Darn it. it just looks colorized like colorized classic movies. <laughs> yeah. So I, I've got a question. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> they sure. bring in uh, <laughs> Boris Karloff. Yeah, all right. You got a Boris know, Karloff uh, in your throat. <laughs> well, well, it's a little I've under the weather. I've had a little week. Karloff yeah. in my throat all week. Unter the Wetter. Yeah. I don't think that sounded as good as it did in my mind. Uh, oh, no. Hold on, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
how big was Boris Karloff whoa, whoa. before they brought him in? That's a personal question. He is not. Was, <laughs> Boris was Karloff not a star? was no. Mm-hmm. Boris Karloff oh, was oh. a nobody. Yeah, right. Boris Karloff was a nobody that yeah. James Whale apparently saw in the Universal Commissary <laughs> and liked the way he looked and yeah. went over and offered him the job. And Karloff, when I, from what I read, was kind of offended because he was dressed in what he said was his best suit mm. that day. Yeah. It gives you a little hope, Lloyd, because <laughs> Boris Karloff was actually 44 years old when he played yeah. Frankenstein. So in a few years, I can start acting. But yeah, <laughs> if you got a time machine. Uh, well done, well done. <laughs> no, but in, in all seriousness, so he was he was not a star. Um, he was he was working, but he was he was a nobody, which is kind of weird because when you think about it, when the movie starts, did you notice the credits? Yeah, the question did you, mark. The question mark. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the monster. Big question. Big mark. question mark. And to me, that would make you, now in today's day and age, that would make you think that they were hiding a star on you, but they right. weren't. No. And a year later, and we'll talk about this in our next episode, a year later, he was so popular that they actually, in The Mummy, they were just... Giant. They were just uh, advertising him, not even as Boris Karloff. It was just Karloff. Right. Really? So wow. this guy goes from nobody to a question mark to <laughs> Karloff. Karloff. He gets the Madonna well, treatment. It was also weird that his name was in the closing credits, Frank. Yeah, right. it, was. it was. I was like, why Why the question mark yeah. beginning and then the... Uh, I, it's I, it's it was, a way to hide. Some kind of weird... Uh, yeah. It was probably a, a yeah. sneaky Just thing. Just to build suspense well, for the audience. Look at the way they open the movie. The right. guy comes out and addresses the crowd yeah. as opposed to uh, a lot of these other films. Uh, it, he's telling you right away, you're going to be scared. Edward, Edward Van, Van Sloan. Sloan. Sorry, I should I should roll my R's because if you don't roll your R's when you're speaking to a crowd, yeah. it's <laughs> not important. He wore his tux and he uh, came out and said... This may scare you. Yeah. It may shock you. <laughs> it may fuck your brain. <laughs> You've been warned. It actually sounds like the beginning of our show. Yeah, I mean, he actually he recorded that uh, while they were filming Dracula. Oh, did they really? No, I just made that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, reco- he recorded the it right, are right next to you. Marge Simpson. Is that, yep. you know, <laughs> well, see, and the thing that is, should be a new segment. Larry's false facts. <laughs> Larry's, yeah, exactly. Can, uh, can, I got plenty of them. Can oh. you pick out Larry's bullshit <laughs> would, for the week? I would love that. Larry's false fact of the week. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So before we start getting into what's going on in Dracula, in in, in Frankenstein, uh, let's go over real quick. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, and I wanted to bring up too the, uh, who this was written by. So again, this is based on the novel uh, by Mary Shelley. Mrs. Um, Percy to you. Mrs. Percy. (laughs) (laughs) Toxic masculinity. (laughs) Um, Uh. This is not completely adapted from the novel, though. Much like Dracula, this was adapted from a play that was adapted again. So in 1927, a woman named... uh, Another woman. Goddamn women. uh, (laughs) Peggy Webling... (laughs) Uh, who was probably Mr. Mrs. Richard Webley. Uh, <laughs> she wrote a play that was based uh, on the guy's name. <laughs> so it was based on the Mary Shelley uh, uh, novel, and then um, a guy named John L. Balderston, which sounds Balderston. like a fake name. Sounds like a fake name to me. Um, he adapted it for Universal because he he even said that this was like fucking the play was shit. Yeah. <laughs> but they, but they wanted to do things differently because there's a ton of things that are different from. The movie version to the uh, to the original um, novel. One of the things that I found interesting, I've never read the novel uh, at all. In the novel, there's nowhere in the novel apparently that says that the creature is brought back by electricity. The electricity thing is completely from the that's, movie. That's fabricated for the movie. Yeah, yeah. that is true. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I had never heard that. In yeah, the it's, novel, it's I guess totally different. Yeah. Huh. It's written as Frankenstein's. Um, those scenes in the novel are written as his journal. Yeah. And in the journal, he he says he has a method, but he doesn't want to write it down because he doesn't want anybody to, to reproduce it. Oh, right. <clears throat> so they had to do something visual for this. Mm-hmm. So oh, the electricity. Boy, did they ever. <laughs> yeah. They did. They absolutely did. <laughs> I don't yeah. think they've ever improved on it in all no, the it, other films. What a fantastic, fantastic oh. job. And word is that one of the, what, what is that called? The Jacob's Ladder where the fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, was given to them by Nikolai Tesla. No kidding. Oh, well, really? No, I just made that up. No, actually, no, that, I did it. No, I didn't. I did it. I did it. That was a rumor. It's never been proven. Okay. All right. I did. I did read that. So. All right. All right. But it would be we... funny if that was my second bullshit. Uh, of the night. All right. But it's save, not. Save another yeah. one for later. Jeez. All right. Save another I'm one. For later. I'm only half a beer. Oh wait, no, a beer and a half. Man. <laughs> all right. So what kind of fucking podcast is this? <laughs> so let's go through the cast real quick. Uh, I've got it written down here. Uh, Colin Clive played Henry Frankenstein. Mm. They changed the name from Victor. Because they felt that uh, Victor was uh, too severe and unfriendly of a name. Much like in the 70s. I agree. When they, oh, oh, I agree. Severe and unfriendly, but we're going to show you a monster. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's what they, they actually did that. 
Much like in the seventies when they changed, uh, then they Banner. changed Banner's <laughs> name because they said Bruce was too gay. <laughs> so the, from thirty to seventy eight, they're still pulling this shit in Hollywood. Sure. Which I thought was really weird because they changed his name to Henry, yet they made his friend Victor. They yeah, still right. use Victor. They yeah. they're yeah. like he can't be Victor, even though he's a fucking psychopath, and it goes <laughs> along with him. But let's make this guy who seems kind of okay. He's Victor now. Sure. Uh, let's <clears> see. Uh, Got to use the name. It's easier. <laughs> May Clark plays Elizabeth. Yep. Um, the, the love interest, and uh, she's kind of hot, but I will say I'm noticing a pattern in these early movies. Uh, Dracula to this, the woman's uh, role is. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, fluff. it's just fluff. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry for bad. being that guy. No, but no, it's, it's fluff. It's this, garbage. This character was complete fluff. Yes, I mean. Why is there a love story? Why is there a love interest in this at all? Yeah. They don't really need it. There right. seems to be oh, no Henry. reason. Oh, <laughs> Henry! Yeah. It's... Larry, on a, on a scale of one <laughs> to five yeah. for 30s hotness, Yeah, wh- where is she at on your list? <laughs> Why do you have to specify it like 30s hotness? Well, cause, <laughs> Why can't she just be hot? Because 30s hot is different than like, like uh, 70s hot well, and today's hot. Of course, because most people in the 70s were not hot. Yeah, well, she's mm. No, she's attractive. She's not attractive as, as what's her name in the next movie. We'll yes, about. I want to talk. Well, we're going to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, but she's she's all right. Okay. Yeah. All right, Lloyd. What you, oh, number I wouldn't, wise. I wouldn't throw her to bed. Number wise. All right. Wow. Uh, three and a half. Three and a half. Ooh, we're, three and a half. We're uh, we're winning right here with all the women <laughs> listeners. I wouldn't throw her out of bed. <laughs> hey, I. <laughs> That's terrible. Man, that's terrible. All right. John. As as Charles Barkley would say, man, that's terrible. terrible. That's just terrible. He's just actually absolutely terrible. terrible. That dude is terrible. He's just absolutely terrible. I can't believe what's coming out of that dude's (laughs) mouth. He is terrible. (laughs) He is absolutely classless. I cannot believe this. Uh, Kenny, you you a knucklehead, Kenny. (laughs) You you a muffin head. You terrible. Did you ever see the video of Shaq <laughs> tripping on the set of the show he's on? Oh, God. Yeah. And all of those dudes <laughs> laughing at him? Yeah. Nobody even can try to get to Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> is like on one of those NBA shows, like, you know, where they're, they go, let's go back to, you know, the scores. <laughs> he, he gets up. He gets up to walk over to like one of those, you know, Tron boards to do something. Nice Mike Tirico. And he, he fucking, he trips over a, wa- over a cable. And it takes nine minutes because he's so big. <laughs> it's like watching a building being detonated. He just takes forever to fall. He hits the ground, and then there's like three other ex NBA players. No one is concerned. They're just laughing hysterically. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. and, then, down. and Shaq is just on the ground going, I say, guys, I'm down. <laughs> big Shaq, I'm going to get up again. Uh, if one of you guys come over here and get a forklift. <laughs> Shaq, down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that's segue. Next in our yeah, in our really. in our uh, lineup here is Next John in our, Bowles in our NBA Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> He's on fire! <laughs> 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 oh my god, I played that all the time. <laughs> Three points. He's on fire. <laughs> That was funny. All right. Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> boom, shakalaka. That's, boom. that's foreshadowing right there. <laughs> uh, John Bowles played Victor uh, Moritz. Victor was the friend yep. who desperately wanted to bang wow. uh, Elizabeth. Yeah. 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 Like, he's not even... Wait, he wasn't even hiding it. What is she? No, she she no, says, no. not at all. She goes, I, I appreciate you so right, much. No, I appreciate like, you so much. And he's like, and how he's, much, bitch? And he's like, <laughs> like pawing at yeah. her the whole time. Yeah. Leering. Oh, my God. Talk about creepy. The I wish you wouldn't want to go find Henry. Yeah. Yeah, really. I could sure use you myself. You know... I haven't thought about Henry and him being disappeared. Fuck it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if he wanted you so bad, he'd come around. <laughs> you know I'm fond of you, Elizabeth. I'm quite <laughs> fond. I'm yeah. quite fond of you. There, Not there's... too fond. Let's go see Henry. I yeah. have never heard the word fond sound so creepy in yeah. my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd like to show you how fond I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Boris Karloff. Uh, Boris Karloff played the monster. A.K.A. the yeah. question mark. Now, do, do you guys, do any of you guys here still kind of, act, and here's a question I have. Okay. Do you kind of accidentally still call the monster Frankenstein? I don't. Because no. growing up, that's what I called him. But then well, here's the question. As a kid, that's what you yeah. thought of. Yeah. But here's the, here's the question. I had to right? correct my children just yesterday. Did right. you really? Yeah. Yeah. So the Universal Pictures, yeah. a couple movies later, make a movie called Frankenstein, The Bride of Frankenstein. Right. right. About his bride, right, yeah. right, yep, yeah. They, so, they've they've just screwed the pooch, right? They've they've misguided, right. They misguided they yeah. misguided the audience, right, from yeah. the get go. So okay, so but universally, when you say Frankenstein, you think of the monster. I right. I do too. I, you yeah. know, like I'm looking yep. at his shirt now, and I think Frankenstein, the, and it says Frankenstein, yep. but I have to remember it's the monster. Well, that's what what I really liked about or the Penny, creature, Penny Dreadful. Yeah, the creature mm-hmm. or or the monster is what they call Penny it. Dreadful. Didn't they call him Adam? Uh, that was one of them, right? There was one. There were a number of them, so 
And actually, I think so I you read... didn't get far enough. You need to you need to watch more. Of that. I did like that show. <laughs> I did like that show. Okay, so uh, Edward Van Sloan, who we know from uh, Dracula as uh, Professor Van Helsing, comes back to play Doctor Waldman, hmm. and he's basically playing Van Helsing <sighs> again. Just uh, he's he's not like accents a, a little different, a little different, and he's not like a. Uh, He's not as old. He's <laughs> he's not as old. He's not like a he's not You're a right. yeah, he's action hero. Yeah. Slightly. Yeah. He's 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 he is the teacher of yep. um, teaching more, about the brains. Teaching about the brains and, yeah. and all that stuff. He's he's like a uh, I guess the biology teacher, human biology teacher yeah. at, at the at the Goldstadt. 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 Yep. And he's Where quite, did you go to school? And he's also quite fucking nosy. Remember they get to the oh, he's, yeah. super he's, nosy. Like, he's like lifting up the yeah, blanket. Right. Don't <laughs> touch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are, what are you experimenting on? Yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, old man. <laughs> and the, fi- the final one I have here uh, is... Beat you uh, with a torch. <laughs> ...is uh, Dwight Fry, who yes. we all love so much, yes. uh, as Renfield in Dracula, plays, not Igor. Fritz. He plays Fritz. Fritz. Yeah. Yeah. Igor, as a name, as a character, does not show up for another two Frankenstein movies, I believe. Not in Bride, but in... In uh, the next one, like yeah. Frankenstein's Hand or whatever the fuck. They, I know they did a bunch like that. <laughs> it, it shows up The gallbladder of Frank- Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am Frankenstein's raging gallbladder. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Larry, now that we got all that out of the way, yeah, I feel better. Give us, give us a start of where this movie begins. Where, where do we start right off the bat with this film? And uh, where, where do we start? Well, Pla- I think it's Black Germany. And, Black, yeah, I'd say Germany. The graveyard. That, that oh, the graveyard. That's the, right. The, they're they're watching a funeral. They're watching a funeral procession. Yep. And then you get the um, they're done with the funeral. And these, you know, Igor, sorry, Felix Fry, whatever the guy's name is, <laughs> is hanging out with the doctor, you know, eyeballing the funeral. And then all of a sudden you get, uh, did you notice that uh, the, the guy digging the grave yeah. was, he like did like the David Ortiz, like he spit in his hands yes. and rubbed yeah, them together did. first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was like, oh, that's where Ortiz got that He also from. lit a match with <laughs> his foot. <laughs> he, did. Yeah. he was pretty cool. You know, he but, did. He did. So, yeah, and he wore a suit to dig a grave. He, he did wear a suit. Well, he, yeah. you know, he, looked, he looked rather clean after yeah. he was done. He looked super clean. Yeah. 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 Didn't, look the, Didn't look tired. Didn't look tired at all. Not at all. To the burial ceremony. Did, Did you, you like put, see put, the skeleton hanging there? Just hanging out? Yeah, yeah just hanging there. I no. think it had a sword. I think it had a sword. Yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> whatever so, country this is. <laughs> so so David Ortiz is done filling up the uh filling up the grave. And Dr. Frankenstein and 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 Felix, what the fuck is uh, uh, Fritz? Fritz. Fritz. Yeah, Fritz. <laughs> they they literally wait two thirteen seconds. seconds. <laughs> not to mention they're hiding behind a piece of a of a fence, right, yeah. a iron four fence. feet away, four feet away. <laughs> everybody can, for, yeah. for like an hour. Yeah, like they're just sitting there for like an hour watching. Can you see why Mel Brooks made this into a comedy you, movie? Yes, you it's still so you can perfect. still see the guys, the fucking graveyard guys back. Yeah. And the these two jump out. Okay, it's time. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it would have been much easier? Because this is obviously this is a guy that doesn't give a fuck about his job. No, <laughs> he's working for the grave man. You yeah. know what I mean? He probably bitches when he goes home. I was thinking the same thing. You could have slid him, him a five. Just wait till everybody walks away right. and go. Excuse me, a buddy, five. come well, here. I don't know. Is a five? Do they have fives back then? Uh, give him, give him a, a shilling. Five or... shilling yeah, yeah, give him yeah. a shilling. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> go a Deutschmark. Where yeah. were they in Germany? Yeah, I don't know where they are. We yeah. don't know where they are. They never actually say. I think it's Germany because there's a lot of Lederhosen at the end. Sure, but but that's right. It's a Foreign country. Yeah. That's all you need to know. They're in yeah, Latveria right. yeah. <laughs> with Doctor right. Doom. <laughs> then Luxembourg. <laughs> Luxembourg. <laughs> yeah, they could have eased. That guy did not look like there were any shits given. You could have paid that yeah. guy and been like, "Hey, let me save you a whole lot of trouble. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to take that trouble. guy. Right. Here's five beans." Go get an extra hand job at the yep. fucking at the hand jobrium <laughs> wherever you're going after this. The hand the, the, the hand jobrium. One of the reasons I say <laughs> we room. is that next to the black. La- I think we're calling this the hand jobrium. <laughs> well, one of the reasons I say we don't know exactly what country they're in. There's a Baron Frankenstein. Who is the best character in the whole fucking movie? Can I bring yeah, something? Yeah. Real quick? I'll, I'll disagree with you, but but I'll say well, he's why got the best goiter in the movie. I don't. Oh, I don't wanna, he's got a nice goiter. <laughs> I don't want to jump ahead too far, but I right, do want right. to say this while we're fresh on Baron Frankenstein, which yeah. I, I didn't write the actor's name down. Did anybody else get the feeling that Baron Frankenstein was a character from a Three Stooges short <laughs> sure. that is in this movie oh, yeah. somehow? It, completely. Whoop, 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 yeah. whoop. Yeah. He you seems like three, three Stooges. I was just picturing like the little rascals chasing around, like trying to get money out yeah, of him. He seems like the guy. Guy in a one Come episode. on, guys, we can get him. <laughs> he seems like the guy in a one episode shot of Three Stooges that they go to work for, like cleaning his house or something. <laughs> yeah. And like they drop a brick on his head and he's just going, Ooh! <laughs> He seemed like everybody else, like, okay, because so. He, did he seem German to you? Well, nobody no, seemed German. No, well, no, exactly. Nobody did. Except no. for all the leader hosen. Right. The leader hosen yeah, people yeah, at the wedding. 
Yeah, that's, yeah. Everyone wears those. Elizabeth, <laughs> the actress, was fine. Her role was just terrible. Oh, yeah. The Baron von Frankenstein just seemed like he was in a... Like, he showed up to film an Abbott and Costello thing. Why or, am I or, here? And he's just like... They're like, well, you're done. You want to stand he's, in he's for He's Admiral this? Stockdale. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, what, what am I doing here? As soon that as he came Frederick on... Frederick Kerr, by the way. Fred, oh, so you got a couple yeah. notes here. As soon as he came on screen, I went, this guy should be, like, getting hit in the head with a board from Shemp any second now. Okay, so yeah. I'm, they, I want to hear from anyone that gets the Admiral Stockdale joke. <laughs> I don't think I got it. I don't got it. <laughs> I don't really? Got it. Oh, God. No. no. Ross Perot, Running oh, Man. Oh, his Running Man. Right, right, right. <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know we were going back to the 96 election. It's, it's yeah, my really. point. It was just kind of, it was I'm so sorry. No, 92. That was 92. Ah, why am I here? <laughs> You just sit back there, all right? Just give me a few minutes. I'm going to do this. That guy's still alive. <laughs> Ross Perot? Yeah, isn't he? Uh, is Ross Perot still Ross alive? Is Ross still alive? I, I don't know. His I, ears are probably still alive. I believe alive. so. I mean, his ears were huge. Hanging down yeah, he had some big fucking now. ears. Wow. <laughs> he's going to look, look it up now. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. All right. So <laughs> we, we, we go from there. They steal the body. And then on the way out, they just happen to find a body hanging right. in the gallows. <laughs> well, the gallows. Yeah. I, I love that. It's still here. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah, they had an eye on it on the way in. Right. And, and, and then it's like, Fritz, Fritz, climb up there it. and get it. And Fritz is like, uh-uh. uh Second thing I want to bring up about Fritz is for a hunchback who uses a cane, he is a dexterous motherfucker. Right? Yeah. He climbs shit. He climbs a rope. He climbs down a rope. He does shit people with regular like like body abilities can't do, what? and he's a humpback <laughs> with a cane. Yeah, um, he, Fritz is amazing. Still yeah. alive. Ross Perot's still alive. All right, so, eighty-eight years old. That, so, which is like, weird because I, I thought he was eighty-eight and ninety and eighty-two or whenever the fuck he ran for president. So. Yeah, I would have thought so too. Man, he's he's Holy the same shit. age as James D. Kirk. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Boy, he, you know, he, that guy must have the sorest back, man. Oh yeah. That whole movie. He's no, bent he's. Over. I was relieved oh, when they James finally Fry? Get, when they, uh, yeah. Dwight Fry, yeah, when oh, they Dwight got when they got rid James of him. <laughs> James Glenn <T>. Fry. <laughs> Fry. <laughs> Glenn Fry. Smugglers Blues. <laughs> oh I thought we were still talking about Ross Perot. <laughs> <I don't laughs> All right, so they steal the two bodies, yep. bring them back to the shack, and now he needs a brain. The brain, there's two brains. What kind yeah. of brains do we have at the uh, university? <laughs> at, at the <laughs> we got, we've got the, the normal brain. Normal brain. And then we've got Abby Normal. Abby, Abby Normal. Normal. A criminal brain. I want to bring this up as well. A criminal. Yeah. Did anybody else notice the fact that as Waldman, the, the, the character played by Edward Van Sloan, is teaching his class and showing them the very minute differences in the two jars in the brains, they're 40 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> this is before now, there's any kind of like projector. At this microscopic bit yeah. of this brain. Excuse, excuse me, <laughs> this Professor. Has a right professor. Here. Yeah. There's a slight the striation. Frontal lobe. I can't see, Professor. The frontal lobe has a minor striation that even the person inside the jar couldn't see. Can, now, Kelly, in the fourth row, can you see it? Fuck no. no. I told you, I'm dropping your class because you're an asshole. All right. So they have the normal brain and the abnormal brain. And again, much like the uh, the graveyard sequence, Fritz is just hiding in a window. <laughs> seven yep. feet away from the entire the class. The whole time. He breaks in because he's been tasked with getting a brain. <laughs> yep. What does he do to the brain that he as, should get? As slick as Fritz appears to be for a man of his limited yes, yeah. uh, capabilities, <laughs> he's apparently very afraid of lightning. Right, he's spooked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah spooked easily yeah. a horse. Yeah, because one, one noise and, and then there <laughs> it goes. There, <laughs> Dro there, drops the there good goes brain. Our, there's our, there goes the good brain. <laughs> and... Doesn't look like Fritz can read because he does take the. Uh, he, he well, I don't know if he can't read or, or if he's, he's just, just like, like fuck, fuck it. it. I need to bring a brain. <laughs> I need home. a brain. Yeah, I need a brain. Right? A brain is yeah. good. A brain brings the brain home to yep. Frankenstein. Now this is. But they never brought it back up, right? He brings it up later. He, they did very he towards admits, the end of the movie. They did they? Admit. He he admits to Waldman that they stole the brain. He's just like nonchalant about it. He's like, oh, by the way, that brain that's in Frankenstein, right. yours. Right. He says it to And him. then he told yeah. him that and was the criminal like, brain. That was the shitty brain. Yeah. We found the other brain fucking like on the floor. And Dr. Frankenstein <laughs> puts his head in his yeah. hands like, oh, shit. Oh, okay. Smithers, massage my brain. <laughs> <laughs> so we get the brain back now through, you know, through narration or not narration, but you, you basically learn. It's that pantomime because it's there's pantomime. no words. Yeah. It's just. He's sewn together yeah. these bodies and he shows the body and it's got the flat head. <laughs> uh, this movie, by the way, as we were talking about with the electricity, which we're getting up to, also brings in the first ever flathead <laughs> electrodes in the neck, yep, which yep. people think are bolts. The suit being like goofily weird. This is all stuff 
that has um, pervaded everybody's consciousness about Dracula or about Frankenstein. Right. Wow. But it, none of it was none of it was in the novel. That was all James Whale. Have it you read James the novel? Is no. it, was no. it all James Anybody Whale? Here? Or was yeah. It? You read it. You have. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you did. Okay. I I, I've never read this book. Yeah. No. Me um, yeah. All that the whole design of the creature that was all that was all James Whale. Yeah. Jack Pierce. Yeah. Was and the Jack makeup Pierce, artist, the makeup guy. right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Who right. also did Dracula? Who also did the Mummy? He was kind of their all star. Yeah. Yeah. You know how many of these people I was I was reading. When you read the IMDb credits, how many are listed as uncredited? Because oh, when you watch the credits, back then they didn't give credit. It wasn't right. six minutes long. Right. It was literally yeah, like one page, one yeah. page, one, two. If you're so lucky. there was a yeah, ton of guys that yeah. never got credit. Yeah. It, it wasn't until much later when people started demanding screen credit, right? And and it became part of um, the, the guilds that they had out right. there at the time, right? So, it, it's, I mean, a, it's amazing if you Pierce, look at the at Pierce the was many. a fucking genius. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah. He was it when it came look, to... Look at the makeup he did for yeah, this Yeah, I mean, he even before this, he did the makeup 10 years before with Lon Chaney and with, uh, uh, yeah. the Opera right, and all right. that stuff. He also he <laughs> also went as far as... I think the last one of the last things he ever worked on was... Um, he was uh, the main makeup artist for... Um, uh, fuck, Mr. Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Ed. Yeah. So no was, kidding. Uh, he was yeah. still working in the late 60s. Uh, and I don't know if you've ever tried to put makeup on a horse. No. Not easy. <laughs> Not easy. I, I, guess, I guess I would figure that if anybody at this table has it, it was you. But uh, no, I've never tried that before. <laughs> it's a horse makeup artist. Yeah, it's tough. So I'm going to start singing the Mr. Ed theme so now. T- <laughs> the other thing. Well. <laughs> the other thing that's impressive about this whole uh, Frankenstein makeup thing is that I read another article mm-hmm. that said Universal owns that that imagery yeah. of flat-headed yeah, green they, skin. Yeah, they own that, yeah. That is straight up owned by Universal. Yeah. So technically, you know, I mean, I guess... You know, you could never do another Frankenstein of that. That's why all these Frankenstein remakes, it's, they, it's they go trade, to a different It's version. a trademark uh, uh, visage, basically. Right. It's, it's intellectual it, property. Intellectual yeah. property, yeah. Because they don't, they don't own the Frankenstein's <clears throat> monster, but they own that version. That version of it is that's, theirs. That's yeah. all. Did the monster appear in, the say, the movie poster? Yes. His yeah. head does, yes. It was a black and white? Uh, I I'm just wondering no, if the skin green. was green. It was green. In the yeah. mo- okay. Oh, the makeup was definitely green. Yeah. Um, the, Karloff had a See? hell of a time. Yeah. <laughs> Karloff had a hell of a time in that. Fucking thing. <laughs> the suit The suit weighed something like 45 pounds. Yeah, they, they stuck him in all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess James Whale at some point, uh, there was some kind of mm-hmm. issue he was having with Karloff. And the scene, we're going to skip ahead a little bit, but the scene at the end where he's carrying Dr. Frankenstein up that hill to the windmill. Yeah. yeah. Um, they said that uh, that whale made him do it like forty times, <laughs> and they said that that he hurt his back doing yeah, that, and it affected his career forever. Forever, oh, wow. yeah. and it was it was like this little spat that they yeah. had, and and whatever it was, he they was, had they had issues early, and I guess nothing crazy, but like Karloff just re- during the the resurrection scene, Karloff that wasn't even Karloff um, when they uh, with, with the electricity and shit. He didn't want to do it because there was an exposed part of his abdomen that kept that he was afraid would get burned. Wasn't it also? Oh, wow. it, was, was, it was it was whale. It was actually <clears throat> up in the air too. Yeah, that was the other thing that that uh, gurney gets lifted up and uh, up to wherever it's going to be. That was actually high in the air. And this is not and in the day of safety actually harnesses. Actually, yeah. right. yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, yeah. So Karloff wouldn't do that scene. Right. Oh wow. Yeah, he was real picky and yeah. uh, he was smart. In yeah, most good. cases. <laughs> well, no matter who did that scene, that scene is fucking awesome. Oh yeah. Um the set is great. Beautiful. Oh, the set's um, beautiful. The set is awesome. The the yeah. little the little which, electrodes which, which, and the everything. The Dracula set was good, right? Sure, so sure. you're coming off a of Dracula, which you're like, wow, really good, you know, sets, especially again for nineteen thirty one. Right. Yeah. Yep. But the thing of it is, and, and we already discussed it, you you cl- you quantify it for saying by nineteen for nineteen thirty one standards. Right. Frankenstein just over, is still a good set. Oh, it's like you could put that. You could put that in the yeah. movie today. Yeah, and I'm it, looking it at works. things. Uh, just the staircase, s- was simple, incredible. Things. Oh, but yeah. One, one yeah. of my favorite things is after they dig up body, and and the two of them are chattering away as they throw it on the cart and they start moving it up the road. If you look at the road itself, is well done to the point where there's cart tracks and there's footprints in the dirt as they're walking. Oh wow! Up, up the road. Oh really? It's. I'm looking at it in the in the black and white. It really shows up, and and, and the cut that I had was just like. Yeah, the black and white detailed. definitely helps the yeah, uh, the it, sets and the scenery. The and the, it helps the it until greeniness. it doesn't. Uh, did you notice at the very end again? Skipping ahead a little bit. The fire. No, when they're searching uh, for for Frankenstein's monster, 
the background. It was obviously oh, a yeah, backdrop. Oh, yeah, I know you can about. see yes. the creases. Yes. One very particular scene. Yeah. You could see like Pierce looking at my twice. looking at my like my curtains. You could see it's too much yeah. light. Yeah. Is what it is. Yeah. yeah, it's all the torch light. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that scene is great. Yeah, it happens. It, it and yeah. then it gives you the like again. I kind of got goosebumps watching it. The iconic. It's a lie. Yeah, I mean, no, he is yeah, fucking. Just, he's nuts. <laughs> right. Now I know what it's like to be God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, what yeah. a great line. Which huh? was <laughs> yeah. cut out when that movie came out. I'm sure they censored oh, that. I'm sure they did. They yeah. took. They they left the. It's alive. It's alive. Yeah. But then when he says, um, "This is what it feels like to be a God," right. he says two things about God. He says, I, "I'm a God," I think, and then this is what it feels like to be a God. Something along those lines. They they cut that out because they considered it blasphemous. Oh, sure. Yeah. When they sent this movie over, Good old James Whale. <laughs> there was there was one yeah, country. He didn't, he didn't, no no fucks given. No no. There was one country they sent this movie to for um uh you know to be shown. I wish I had written it down. Like something like the movie's like eighty minutes long. They cut like fifty minutes out of it <laughs> because of various things that like were considered offensive or you know me like resurrection. Yeah, they they yeah. left that thinking, oh wow, that monster. He was a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. Oh, well. Well, that's kind of the that thing. was such a nice town. I, they were so inviting. This is kind of the thing about this movie, though. Is in the end, and I, I gotta say, as I was watching it, I feel bad for him, man. Like yeah. I truly feel no, bad for him. To. You know, yeah. I never really, I've seen other Frankenstein versions, mm-hmm. and in other ones, they make him out to be a little bit more villainous villainous yeah, and violent. Yeah. This it's, version of Frankenstein childlike. is just like a kid yeah. who never asked for this, <sighs> and then, like, he's just getting, like, completely like, fucked for being <laughs> what he is. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we talked about the resurrection scene. Yes. The the scene when when he finally comes into the room, and you get the close-up of his face. Of Frankenstein, of yes. Frankenstein's monster's face. That to oh, me, when he backs into the room, he backs into yeah. the room, yeah. and then he turns around. And then he turns. I did want to know what was up with that. To me, that you did, why you didn't like that. I liked it. I, why did he moonwalk into that room? It's, it's Sometimes all, you got to walk back. It's, yeah. it's a, yeah. a cinematic reveal. Is yeah. What it yeah. Is. it is yeah. a big deal. The door could have opened and he could have stepped out of the darkness. I get it. It yeah. was just you're to just, me. You're just poking holes in, in, I know. in the, yeah. the, the, the actual camera. You have a problem with Mr. Whale. But the problem yeah. is. Yeah, really, no, you exactly. know what? No, there's an answer to everything. James Whale will be like snapping at you there, right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's an answer to everything here. Remember, abnormal brain. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> yeah, you got an abnormal brain. You walk in the room backwards. Yeah. If that's what you need to make it work. Yeah. <laughs> but for a for a scene from a movie from 1931, it's it's jarring when you see his face. For oh the yeah. First time. Oh yeah. Which is again the shadowing. Incredible. Just an incredible the expre- job. The expression and or non-expression he has. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. No. And this is something that uh, so far all the all the Universal movies we've seen. Does that close up that one close up shot? With oh the yeah, the establishing shot yeah. of the, of the of Dracula the with the light across his yeah, eyes, yeah, exactly. glowing eyes, yeah, yeah. Yep. the glowing eyes. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, Dracula, yeah. <laughs> no. No, we, we we get glowing eyes not, in the not, next one. Yeah, the next yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> we get glowing yeah. eyes. So uh, at this point, um, <laughs> when he resurrects uh, the monster, his his girlfriend Elizabeth. And yeah, they've all come. They've all come. They were looking for him. They're yeah, searching for no him. No one's heard from him in a while. Right. He's, and they're, he's and being, they're to get married. He's, he's <laughs> sending uh, vague book messages through the mail. He is being know. weird. <laughs> She's like, yeah. now that I think about it, he is kind of fucking off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they go see the bear. And he basically tells her, he's like, <laughs> just stay away from here. You're going to fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, look, trust me. Oh, I, lo- I love when they, they're banging on the door. Don't yeah. answer it. Right. <laughs> it's I actually, raining outside. Please, Elizabeth, go home. I, I actually said that I was watching this with my wife last night. And we're watching it. She's kind of half watching it. And when, when they come to the door and he's like, who is it? And he's like, get rid of them. I'm like, that's us. <laughs> like, if we're here at night and like the door gets knocked on, I'm like, who the fuck is it? Yeah. Like, I don't want to. Uh, what is going it's on? It's after 8 o'clock. Don't answer the door. <laughs> yeah, the fuck out of here. And, and for a guy that doesn't want me to know he's home, he's standing in a picture window. Right. Like, uh, one floor up. And they're just like, he's like, fuck, they saw me. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do want to put this out there. Um, we, we joked around in, uh, in Dracula about kind of, again, the, the woman character not being that strong and Harker not being a very strong character. Yeah, right. Colin Clive as Dr. Frankenstein was awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And one of the things I, I noticed immediately, and I, I figured you might know about this because you know a lot about like kind of these older Hollywood actors. What a voice on that guy. Right. Like he just had that kind of British, but like like very like it's, almost it's like that a, continental sound. Yes, like yeah, he sounded like so. a continental, like yeah. like you know like like a Lincoln. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Like there a, was there was a there was a <laughs> dialect that the, that's pretty much died out at this point that movies use almost exclusively right. called the continental. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it was this continental dialect 
that was heavily involved in all those early Hollywood movies, and and he was very enunciated. Yeah, it's and and I thought this guy, darling. Have, I wonder if this guy had too. like he had the look, the perfect look for that. Oh yeah, oh, he, yeah. Was, he was great. I wonder yeah. if he ever ended up becoming like I, I know he was early, so maybe like a voice actor. I don't he know just, what he ended up. Doing. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think he just kind of faded out. He like, was really impressive, people, you know. So so they they bring the creature back. Yeah. They throw the creature in, in a room and Look him up like and through some through some uh, <laughs> plot machinations. The uh, what's his name Fritz? Yeah, right. Is, is kind of is kind of <laughs> fucking poking, poking at him. He's poking at poking, him. Just they, poking they at learn, him. They learn. Oh, they learn. Actually, can I go back a second? So, this one. Doctor Frankenstein's like, hey, stop fucking with him. Yeah. And he turns around and fucking Fritz goes yeah. right back to poking at him. <laughs> then he gets like a whip out. <laughs> like, what are you doing? But, You're a fuck up too. The two of you should be friends. Like you with your hump, him with his flat head. You guys should hang out. Like, why are you fucking with? Oh, Doctor Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to I wanted to bring up this one part because that was really funny. During one of the times that they're trying to get the monster into the room, they take the the torch, yeah, and they drop it on the floor. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's where the, the torch is on the floor. And then the Baron comes back to the house and they let him in. And as he comes in, he goes, "What's that doing there? <laughs> You're trying to burn the place down." <laughs> the, the I was like, "I'm glad they acknowledged the torch on the floor on yeah. fire." That it seems like everybody's going to ignore. You think that was ad- Henry? It was probably ad lib. It was probably ad lib. Like, he probably didn't mean to drop the torch or right. anything. Henry, my son. <laughs> <laughs> That's here's the thing about this guy that plays the the Baron. Did, did you notice how everything he said that started with the letter S, he whistles it. I didn't know. Oh, no, maybe he I didn't notice the whistle. I, I can't do it myself. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, so, so I'm I'm here at Frankenstein Castle. And, <laughs> yeah. and it's all, it's whistling. It's like he's whistling through the, the gap in his front teeth. He or probably something. was. Yeah, it so continues was in, on. Uh, 18 movies, Colin Clive. Colin Clive did 18 yeah, movies. That was his third. Uh, he did uh, yeah. Bride of Frankenstein as well. Oh, of course and he was in Blind. And he, uh, yeah. and he died of a morphine Bride. overdose. Journey's End. Yeah. yeah, most of his stuff came after uh, <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. All right, so third movie. Well, yeah. he, he, I was impressed by him. Um, yeah, he was good. Fritz, I, I knew well, he was what was his last movie? Alive. His very last yeah, movie. Come on, like History is Made at Night, 1937. Oh, wow. 1937. <laughs> wow. It's a short career. That is a short career. Well, you know, Carl Lamley, his last produced movie forever was like 1938. Right. Senior. Yeah, no, Junior. Junior. Oh, jun- well, 38. Because Junior started losing money. Again. And, and Universal yeah. got taken over. Yeah. Look, uh, this, I always say this. Listen to Karina Longworth's uh, you, you Must Remember This uh, podcast where she goes in-depth into a lot of this stuff mm-hmm. and gets into the Lamleys quite a bit. Yeah, so. it's interesting. Yeah, so he, really he, strange thing to say. Gets into the Lamleys. <laughs> he had opportunity to get back into film later in life, and he was just like, nope. Fuck that. He's done. He was like, yeah, Fuck this. there was a lot of... I'm a rhubarb uh, farmer now. Uh, <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> Probably make good money on it. Real good with strawberries, <laughs> I gotta tell you. He's rhubarb. Like, he's, he's actually the guy that created the pie. He's yeah. like, you know what? Let's put some shitty put red celery together. in a pie. <laughs> you know what? I'd like in a pie celery, except for shitty and red. With some strawberries. Yeah. With some strawberries. Nah. What, what goes with that? Yeah. Nah. Pour some sugar nah, on it. Pour some sugar on it. Let's make it a pie and sell it by the roadside, okay, Andy? <laughs> uh, Fritz decides to go in and whip Indiana Jones style, whip the creature. And uh, the next thing we know, when we see <laughs> Fritz again, asshole. he's hanging. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the, the massively strong uh, uh, fucking corpse uh, has decided to fucking end this shit with that little motherfucker. <laughs> uh, that's how you deal with bullies. And that's how you deal with bullies. Now, did you guys also notice that up until this point in the movie, Dr. Frankenstein was pro-monster, pro what he was doing? Sure. As soon as Fritz dies, he is takes a 180. Oh, yeah. No, now it's evil. Evil. It's, it's the worst creature you'd ever... You know, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. He it's, completely just gives up on his yep, job, yep. and then is just like, you know what, Elizabeth? I, I think I'm ready for that marriage and whatever Fritz, bullshit. Fritz was his fuck buddy. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, Let's like, go talk to the Baron. Let's we'll figure out how to kill this fucking thing. He, he just Let's lost get out the burger his, master his involved. Back. You think that's what it was? You think you think, you think think that he was in love with Fritz, maybe? Oh, sure, because look, he just loved the hump. Well, <laughs> and Fritz did whatever he wanted. Did you say he loved the hump? He liked to hump. He liked to hump the hump. I bet you Fritz didn't say no when, when the master loves. said other weird things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. Fritz, go get me a beaker full of chloroform. You know, it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible when you're watching a movie as iconic as Frankenstein to not draw parallels to, you know, everything. Of course, young Frankenstein. That's oh, easy. sure. Oh, yeah. Easy. That, that's easy. There's, so easy. Easy. There's a couple times in this movie where they say young Frankenstein. Right. Yeah. And I'm just like. <laughs> yeah. But the part where fucking 
We're f- f- what's his name, Frankie? Yeah, <laughs> Fritz. Where <he's>, Fritz. <laughs> where he's fucking whipping at him and fucking pulling the torches at him. I'm thinking of fucking Rocky Horror Picture Show with fucking oh, uh, yeah. Riff Raff and oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Riff Raff and the creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Franken. And... Yeah, I'm like fuck, man. Yeah, because that that technically is like a Frankenstein yeah. creature as well. Exactly. It was, yeah, it is. Think about it. He was risen. That's how he. Yeah. They, they, they freaking. It's like Franken Hooker. Can I say something that's going to be super unpopular? I'm pretty sure at this table. I hate yeah. that fucking movie. <laughs> I hate that fucking oh, yeah. movie. That's insanity. I've never seen it in a crowd environment. Well, that's your Frank problem. Hooker? That's your problem. No, uh, <laughs> Frank Rock, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, that's Rocky your problem. Yeah. You can't. Rocky Horror watched like as a movie by itself as a piece of shit. It's not a good movie. No, it's a play. Rocky it's, Horror it's Picture Show. It's the fun of it. It had never come on video. For the whole time it had been, it was out in 75 or whatever. It never came out in video. In 1990, it came out in video. And right. I remember hearing so much about this. My sister used to go. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't really aware that it was that a, a crowd. A <laughs> I, it wasn't like a crowd. I wasn't aware it was a crowd thing so much, right? <laughs> so I rented it. You know, I'm like, yeah, I've no. heard about this movie my whole life. I watched it. The only thing that movie has going for it is a very young and hot Susan Sarandon yeah, she was. in bra and panties throughout the whole movie. Uh, yeah, that, that's Barry really Bostwick. And Tim Curry. Come hey, on. Don't, and, Tim Curry. And, don't, and a young and hot Barry Bostwick. Yes. And but Meatloaf the for a couple hair minutes. Ever. A not hot Meatloaf. <laughs> no, I, I, I saw I saw a Rocky Horror Picture Show uh, in the theater every Friday night for like three years straight. Really? Every, every Friday night, the Criterion. How much toast did you bring with you? What's that? How much toast did you bring with you? I we used to, I used to bring all the shit. Yeah, all yeah. the shit. All yeah, the but shit. most of the time I was toasted. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time, and it's which, always which most people were. If if, if if you ever went to, did you ever do the midnight we thing? They have the West Farms Mall here. Okay, all right. Yeah. So is, this was the deal. Like, John, have you ever get, done this? It'd be uh, yeah. It, it would be a fucking. Ago. It would be a blast. Up blah blah blah. Then as soon as you get to like. The pool scene, like everybody's like asleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's it. It's no fun anymore. Like okay. okay, they're singing the fucking songs on the pool, and that's it. Time fucking to go. Movie over. Um, no, it's you have if you don't watch it in the theater, you'll it, never it's an get. Experience. Okay, you'll never get. Well, look, look at it this way too. Like uh, Caliber Comics did a, a three issue adaptation of it when the video finally came out, and it was one of their biggest. Uh, selling comics of, of their entire career. Wow, I can imagine. And it was in color, which they didn't do. Oh, really? Yeah, hmm. they did it. They did a color three issue series. I can it, imagine. Yeah. I mean, it it I know. I know. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's a super popular thing. Listen, I don't want to interrupt, but I just got a call from the United States of America. Did so, you really? <laughs> that must be important. I wonder if it's like Nick Fury. Like maybe. <laughs> Larry, wow. we need you. Yeah, right? I know, really. Yeah, <laughs> most just say like the United. Waterbury, Westport. Yeah, nope. The United States of America <laughs> just called me. Sweet. <laughs> so uh, he, he ends up hanging Fritz. Fritz yep. is dead. Yep. And uh, Doctor Frankenstein says, "Fuck it, I'm going back to the country, and I'm just going to abandon this thing here." And uh, he, he escapes to yeah, it. He'll he be, leaves. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Let, let him roam the countryside. No little girls are going to get killed. Nothing no. weird's going to happen. <laughs> Nothing. What? So then the movie, what? What? the movie becomes a different movie where we end up going back to. I did not. Feel bad also, for that girl. I, I, before you we, didn't feel bad for. I didn't feel we, bad for the girl. You know why? Why? She's poor pet owner. Oh, you don't bring a kitty that close to the water. That poor little kitten. What I wasn't that? thinking of her so much as I was thinking about a poor shitty dad. Th- think, uh, about, think about two yeah. things. When, oh, when you, you mean the de- this, dragging her corpse around in the fucking uh, yeah. or we'll the get, we'll get ruining the wedding? Yeah. He Leave did. your daughter at home, pal. This is a wedding. This is a wedding. Leave your dead daughter. No kids allowed. <laughs> this is this is. Do you see all the leader hoes in here? This is no place. Th- think about this though, for, for, for the monster himself, and for the movie, and the time period. Yeah. When he when he throttles Fritz, you don't see that in those movies. No. No. So he's not. literally just choking him to death every, on screen. Every scene until where he, there's a the tongue's almost coming yeah. out, and his eyes are going in the back of his head. Every I mean, scene where there's a struggle with with the monster is great because he is just tossing people into right, shit. Right. Yeah. Like he's a lumbersome giant. Like. Monkey, but he's one, just he should he he has no clue what he's doing, right? And he is not. It's not like I guess maybe as opposed to today where it's like you know soft contact. Let's you know don't hit me hard. They're just like what you know. Carl's like, what's my direction, James? He's like, beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> well, <laughs> beat him. The girl, the, yeah. the little German girl that speaks like she's from Brooklyn. They all so, do. <laughs> they all do. Yeah, I know, it's just kind of funny. Hey, what you's doing here? What, what was her? Name? <laughs> you flat-headed green fuck. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Can't you see him walking in? Can't you see him walking? Watch my flowers. <laughs> you want to play a fun game? We're going to throw flowers in the water and watch him land upright. That's, that's, right. fl- that's Flatbush. <laughs> I thought but, it was Yonkers. So but, but, yeah. <laughs> Yonkers. Yonkers. But again, I mean, there's another death that you don't see in, yep. in just 
uncharacteristic of, yeah. of well, these he movies at the time. He John Wayne's that girl under the water. You sure. Fucking, sure. You ever see that, that, that clip of John Wayne trying to teach that dude to swim? Yeah. Basically what he does, he just... <laughs> did you know this? Did you, did you, you're as pretty as a flower. Not only that, but she's like, flow. you're hurting me. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was... It was creepy. Whoa. Did, like, I, know, I know you noticed a lot of stuff that's odd. Did you notice <laughs> the, the scene where when he's well? I know you have a keen eye. The, the scene where For he's oddness. the scene where he's walking oh, to the little girl's house. He's walking in the woods. Yeah, but the way they filmed it, they show that literally he's on the edge of the woods, and there's just a field right here. <laughs> Like why is he not? Why is he struggling to get through these like these tiny tree branches? Oh, you mean you're talking right, right yeah. after he John Wayne's the girl, right? Yeah. And he gets stuck in the small leaves. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, 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 stuck in small <laughs> leaves. <laughs> you know, like you know when you kill people, right? You, you've done it, right? Oh, more than once. Yeah. yeah. Hobos, you don't know like, what the hell's going. Your your mind's uh, all a jumble. Yeah. Right I, I just want to hear James Whale when he's like directing him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Karloff. Okay, Karloff. Listen, the leaves there are really tough to get through. They're sticky. Push hard. Hard. Harder. Okay, that was really hard. Okay, try it again. Okay, Vicky. Take two. Take your cigarette break, the little little eight-year-old girl smoking. He's going to toss you hard in the water like you're a goddamn Frisbee. We're almost out of fucking get out of the water. water. Stay you, in the water so no one can see you. Prop guy. Prop guy. We need more flowers. <laughs> we need you to drown in a foot and a half of water. <laughs> Don't even fight. Don't just, even fight. Just just drown just immediately. Drown. As soon as you hit the water, just hit drown. Hit the water. Don't even act like you know how to swim, which you do. Your character knows how to swim. <laughs> so so we're, we're Plus wait. you're in knee-deep water. They yeah, are in knee-deep like, water. We're we're back at the wedding. Baron Some von Frankenstein pond with dirt in it. <laughs> Baron von Frankenstein is psyched. He's he's, nice. he's, oh, fucking, yeah. he's giving out like oh, uh, like like lapel brooches yep. and uh, yeah. a crown of butterscotch flowers. I don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> my, my. Butterscotch ripple. <laughs> Who's going to solve? Victor. It's, or, I'm sorry, uh, Henry Frankenstein, the doctor, right, and, okay. and the useless woman. Did he even uh, show up to this party? No, he was there. He was, he there. was. He was he, No, he was sight. Okay, I, I could have forgotten the whole time that was there involved. was a fucking murderous monster yeah, running around. That's a what murderous it was. monster yeah, it was, that it was, he set free. Yeah, this yeah. whole scene and felt created, like it was like yeah. jammed into it at the last minute. Like, oh, we need a wedding scene. Yeah. Or or almost wedding scene. Yep. Did you notice? Okay, so... And, and my favorite line from the Baron, <laughs> <laughs> it was basically, a, look at how... How great people are when they drink beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when he goes out onto the balcony yeah. and he's like, and one more thing, there's plenty of beer. Yeah. And then it's everyone's just, happy when they drink beer. Everybody in the in the in the village okay. is is in the leader hosen. They're doing the, the <laughs> Michael Flatley shit. And then and then the guys come in. The guys come in the father, <laughs> the father with, with the, the dead girl. Yeah. Right. He's right, at the dead right. girl. And what I thought was really I, I guess it was it was kind of scream. good. Yeah, yeah, the Wilhelm scream. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of good, but it was kind of like funny too. Was as he's walking through the town with the dead daughter, nobody stops doing the dancing. No, no they're no, all no, dead. No, they're no, just no, like no, dead no. baby. Oh, then, dead baby. <laughs> <laughs> but then when they goes by, everybody like looks down. They kind of stop. Their yeah. hat they and stop dancing and they, and they take yeah. their. Oh, their, she's dead. Yeah, they oh, take their their oh. and fruken and they put it over their <laughs> eyes. Whatever yeah. the the German hat is with for Lederhosen and fruken. They're like, oh, stop, stop the dance out uh, of that, respect for the dead girl. That would be a Tyrolean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I have one. I like, sh- I like Schmork and Fruit. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Stop the press. Right. <laughs> yes, I have a Tyrolean hat. No. If you got the hat, yeah. that's got to mean you got the rest. I don't. I swear to God, if you're lying to me, I'll find them. I don't. You don't have I, Lederhosen? I did when I was like four. Teen. No. <laughs> four. Teen. D. Teen. Four. D. Four. T. Five. Four. <laughs> Four. There are photos, but uh, oh. no, no. The hat I still have because it was a gift from my uncle. So. Okay, what is it called again? Tyrolean. Tyrolean. All right. I kind of like Schmorke. Sounds like Star Trek. I do too. Yeah. I was gonna say it sounds like something that you would find in, <laughs> in, yeah. a, in a science, science fiction. All right. Okay then. <laughs> so yeah, the farmer's whipping his daughter around. Got the dead daughter so, flapping the, around. The clumsy little lass who yeah. couldn't tread water. She actually, my wife kind of brought it up, and I agree. She did a great job playing dead. A little kid, like for that long, she did a good job not moving or anything. Well, I was convinced they, they, they probably Brooklyn. drugged her. She's they probably Brooklyn. did. Yeah, she's from Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. from Brooklyn. And they, they they probably gave her like like an ounce of cocaine too, <laughs> and she just went out. <laughs> That's not what happens when you do cocaine. I could tell you. Well, uh, maybe in a, in a little kid's <laughs> no, body. No, that's good for you. That's good. When, she, when she's on, 
<laughs> That's good that you on don't the, know what, what it does. Here. On the downswing. Yeah. On the downswing. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Codeine. So the monster <laughs> ends up inside the house. He's in. He's inside. The phone calls are coming from inside the house. <laughs> this was one of my favorite scenes of the whole movie because wherever they heard a noise, okay. they went to the wrong place. <laughs> So they, wow, heard, yeah. they, heard, they heard the first noise. They go, he must be upstairs. They run upstairs. There's nothing upstairs. It's, but, it's, but they do manage to lock the bride in the room They with lock them. the bride in the you room. Stay in here. Yeah. You stay here. Oh, <laughs> you stay here. It's totally safe. Uh, and then they go downstairs because that's where they hear the ne- next noise that didn't happen down there. Much like the Fritz and Doc earlier, he's just in the window. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He comes uh, in, she screams because he showed her her dick. I don't know what he did, but she yeah. passes out. And he, and you, <laughs> did you, scream. And he meows. Did you realize that? Does he meow? He, he meows. Watch it again. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's that's not scary. That's they, just weird. That's they just, find that's, her. That's because he saw the kitten. No, must have. <laughs> they find oh, her passed oh. out, very, very, uh, very yeah, passed oh. out. Like Jeez. She was just laid out yep. on the bed. And then Dr. Mm. Frankenstein says... Fuck it, uh, and and who's the, who is the burger master, by the way? <laughs> oh, the, the the burger burger my, my burger master. What purpose did he serve like, in the yeah. town? Was he the mayor or something? It's, he's the the master of burger, master Fuck. of ceremonies. Yeah, he's, he's, of, like a, he's like a uh, all events yeah. in the okay. town. All right, yeah. so he basically is like, I've had enough. Let's hunt this fuck motherfucker yeah. down. So they form a posse. You went you immediately from Oktoberfest to a fucking vengeful mob. Yeah, yes. right. Yeah, without it's, a fucking. It's so right. Simpsons perfect yeah. when when yeah. they have the yeah. flash mob. You know, just go yeah. out. There is no yeah. switch there. No, nope. they're literally at ha- like Oktoberfest. Kill them! <laughs> they even even the uh, this is one of my favorite scenes. Um, Baron von Frankenstein let the um, the uh, servants have some champagne, and they all took one little sip, except the last lady Johnson did. She, did you notice that? <laughs> oh yeah, the last the, the last one in line. They, they pour yeah. it for everybody. Each one of them takes a little yeah. meager sip, and the last lady just goes all the way. The whole thing. Um, so everybody having that shit. Down. The wine wasn't good enough for him, though. Yeah, no, the He's wine like, wasn't good be wasted on them. Them fuckers. <laughs> just give them champagne. His grandmother's wine. They're servants. <laughs> so they they go out looking for him, and after uh, those sets were really good too. Besides the curtains with the, with yeah. the wrinkles in them, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. the the actual like kind of mountainous <clears throat> sets and everything, mm-hmm. very good. Oh, yeah. And then when he uh, cap- the monster captures uh, Frankenstein, the doctor drags him up into a windmill. They have another really cool scene there where they're looking at each other through the actual kind of um, gear of the windmill. Yeah, it was a really was good cool. shot. I like that mm-hmm. a lot. He tried to escape a little too soon. He tries no, they're to on es- opposite sides there, and he makes his way to the door and tries to climb down. Right, tries to climb down. Yeah. Um, the I mob- was trying to show the machinations <laughs> of how the world works with <laughs> the the one side of the monster and and then Victor, oh, sorry, Henry yeah. Frankenstein, you know, how they saw each other on opposite sides of the gears of the world. I kind of think he probably did think that. <laughs> that that's I just thought exactly. it was a cool-looking shot. Like, you know, creator on one side, that's God, and then us, the meager people on the other side. No, it's a monster and a fucking dude playing, like, like catch me if you can across the uh, giant Try it however you want to look at it. <laughs> you got the angry uh, angry mob, bunch of fire, right? And what do you know? Our creature fire. is totally always afraid fire. of fire, fire. right? Yep. Larry, <laughs> so he gets pissed off and he tosses uh, he tosses Frankenstein out <laughs> onto of the window, the, onto like window. a rag doll, out not like a rag doll, out yeah. but on to the blade windmill blade. Yeah. That dummy, yeah. again, yeah. nineteen thirty one. Yeah, but how bad was that dummy? Listen, wow. <laughs> as good as the the makeup effects were, they didn't, they didn't have they HD. had really they didn't have MythBusters yeah. back. Yeah, then. they didn't really catch up they weren't there yet with savini wasn't on set no no savini yeah. uh yeah. yeah they uh they, they really didn't make that no blu-ray look it looked like they threw a fucking bag full of curtains yeah out the uh out the in window a suit. <laughs> it, it was a bag full of pillows in a suit yeah it was, and we uh, threw it out the fucking window it was pretty brutal it was pretty <laughs> i would love i would love to see like a video like if, if the guys are still alive talking to like the special yeah. effects master like the scene how did you do that it was a bag of fucking pillows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we I, took a men's large suit, wrapped it around it, and tossed it out a fucking window, and it landed. It just happened to land on the windmill. I got 10 bucks, says, when I show my daughter, when it comes to that scene. <laughs> she's going to laugh? She's going to be like, what the hell? What was that? <laughs> yeah. What was that? Just tell her it was a Sears and Roebuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to bring up something real quick. You mentioned your daughter. Yeah. Uh, if it was your daughter uh, that Frankenstein uh, tried to throw in the water, it would not have worked, because I saw this week, she, yes. your daughter had her first, like, Black. Full-fledged black belt class. Yeah, she got a black belt uh, last Saturday. All right. And she's already, uh, she's at her third third class tonight, actually, for black belt. Just so. just, just insert her into that scene yeah. 
in the movie right now. Yeah. And Karloff would be like, sure. <laughs> sure to try. <laughs> the, sure. Movie, the movie ends when Jalen round, <laughs> Roundhouse kicks him in the fucking face. Yeah. <laughs> she would have tried. <laughs> and, did, and did I read one of your posts that, uh, that said, I mean, it's not surprising, but I guess... I guess I'm just again. I asked you once before, and you, yep. you you even showed me the picture of whether or not they the black belts in what is the the um, the method? What is she doing? Taekwondo. The, taekwondo. Yep. That she she trains along with adults. It's yep. not like you're a black belt for a kid. You're a fucking black belt. Right. Um, right. But I saw you put something down where she's going to be doing weapons training too. Well, she's been she's been doing nunchucks and sword for uh, a year and a half. It was part of her black belt test. Was she had to do stuff with those? She had to do nunchucks. Uh, she had to do sword. She had to spar against two people at once um, for her black belt test. She had to Damn. break five boards wow. for the black belt test. She passed all that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but now she's got to, whereas the sparring before didn't include head contact, now black belt sparring does. Ooh. So she's sparring with people who... She gets to wear a thing, though, right? Yes, like, yeah, uh, definitely. Plus, okay. She's got that, plus she's got a mouthpiece with fangs on it um, <laughs> that she picked out herself. But it's funny because that's my as, girl. As good as her, as good as her, her form is at sparring, she's so short that it's really hard for her to actually land a kick on somebody. Uh, right. She has to be like standing on their foot <laughs> to to land a kick. And like the people she's sparring against are like, and what is she seven or she's seven? Yeah. Wow. The people she's sparring against are a lot. 19, taller than her. So. 1932 uh, headline. Yeah. Seven-year-old girl kicks the ass of a monster. <laughs> <laughs> he picked the wrong girl in Goldstadt to fuck yeah. with. <laughs> <laughs> she she would have given it the old college try. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, I wanted to ask yeah. you about that because uh, I, I thought that was fantastic. Okay, yeah. let, let's get back into the into the very sad demise of Frankenstein's monster. The very yeah. sad demise of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> they they wicker man the fuck out of this guy. Well, yeah. um, he, uh, amongst other things. He <laughs> even even Lindsay's half watching it and she goes, Are they gonna burn him alive? <laughs> and I went, Technically he's, he's not, not alive. Really alive. <laughs> but yeah, they're gonna burn him. And he is screaming. Yeah, he's yeah. Yeah. Not it happy. is fucking brutal that and then scene. He's even going, Woo yeah, yeah. do a weird thing with his hands. The he gets, fucking the, that's a great the beam. The beam falls when the beam falls. Yeah, it yeah. looks yeah. it looks like the, the film speeds up. So they, that's probably how they did that effect. Maybe well, it, it came down slow and they sped it up. Yep. But there, that's some really again. Uh, that's some really good stuff. Yeah. So the movie doesn't end right there though. There is a final right, scene. Oh, yeah, the fi- yeah. That they don't show the that. two actors because yeah. the two actors were not there. That scene was filmed. Um, in response to, I don't want to say test audiences, but the people at Universal watched the end and went, what happened to Frankenstein, the, the doctor? <laughs> like, he can't be dead. We want to do another one eventually. Oh, it's not going to end like Dracula, it is didn't, what they're saying. Right, or, or we'll get into it, the mummy ends like that. Right. This I, don't, movie, I don't know what you mean. They added, <laughs> they added a, uh, a, a little prologue, but mm-hmm. they only show you from the door. Um, right, they, looking they, into the room. Inside. It was not the actors. It was filmed uh, a while after the movie had been filmed, and they tacked it on because they wanted a happy ending to yeah. this thing. That would be an <laughs> epilogue. An epilogue. But, yeah. I, well, I mean, also, they they wanted it to be a little bit of it. They wanted you to know that our hero, the psychopathic doctor, <laughs> right. you know, who, who caused all yeah. of this, by the way. I am a god. Yeah. 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 He's it's a all, all god. Good. None of the mob was angry at him at all. No, no. no. His creation Which, killed this girl. No, nobody cared about that. Which is really strange. When you start thinking about some of the things that came well, after, they didn't, some yeah, of the things that came after. That's what I mean, yeah. They didn't know. They didn't know. Right. I, I, think, I think he but, was probably, like, he was probably talking to, like, his dad. He's like... It's yeah. nay on the me sh- yeah, day, sh- <laughs> which it's- makes makes Young Frankenstein, the, the Mel Brooks movie, much much better because you realize it's it, he's the uh, ancestor or yep. yeah uh, of of the pre you know the previous right. Frankenstein. everybody's just waiting for him to fuck and him. it's all the all the people around know about what's been going on with this right. Frankenstein family so Frankenstein of course, yeah, Frankenstein <laughs> so he, they come right at him. Rather than, oh, he made another monster! Right. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It, it's almost, a, it's a direct sequel if you really look at it that way, regardless of how humorous it is. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it definitely builds on sure. what we've learned bef- in yeah. these movies. Right? Frau Blucher. Putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> my right. friend, my friend. <laughs> would, would, you, would you like some soup? Some, some, soup? You, some soup? Would you like a roll in the hay? <laughs> The fucking ah. soup in the lap is just fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh man! All right, anyway, all right. that's that's a whole nother. So episode. that is uh, <laughs> that is our coverage of uh, 1931's Frankenstein. <laughs> so I guess I want to I want to find out from all you guys. We'll go to Larry Last because Larry's uh, obviously this is his his, I'm scary. his his show. And he's yeah. scary, Larry. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll go John better or worse than Dracula. Oh, definitely better. Definitely better. Yeah. It's 
hands down from from the set design to the special effects to the acting, which obviously has has similar people in it. Uh, it's just such a much better movie. The story itself is just that much better. Yeah, agreed. So can't can't say agreed. Uh, I can't say anything different. Yeah, um, yeah. Better than Dracula, best one I've seen so far. Yeah, I agree. I'm with you. Oh, Frankenstein. Are you foreshadowing? <laughs> no foreshadowing. I won't no, foreshadow, but I will say Frankenstein <laughs> is light story is light years more interesting to me than Dracula. Sure. The characters are more interesting. The characters are more interesting. More on the um, horror uh, bent. Yeah, it was. De- it, it definitely was. that. It yeah. was. There was a lot it's, of it's much heavier than Dracula is. They it, didn't it, I think I read somewhere they didn't start advertising these movies as horror until like the early 40s either. Yeah, that makes sense. So like when these yeah. movies were coming out at that time, the word horror wasn't, I mean, they, right, didn't it use, wasn't they didn't even use it in the in that, the opening with Van Sloan. He it's says terrifying. You know, terrify you. <laughs> It may fuck your brain, <laughs> but don't say horror. It's almost like he's sneering at you when he says, oh, God, He is, man. It's just, just a weird opening. It, it, <laughs> it, is, a, it is weird. weird and opening. I think we talked about it on Dracula, which we didn't see in the versions we saw. But I think he does that in Dracula, or there's an epilogue in Dracula where he comes out yeah. and says, You know, what you just saw was. I think he did it. I think they did that in the live shows. In the okay. Play. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, play. Larry, better or worse than Dracula? That's definitely better. Definitely better. Yeah. Yeah. Dracula's, again, when you say Dracula's good, you always you always quantify it by saying it's good for its time. <laughs> right. Frankenstein's actually just a good movie. Yeah. It is. Regardless, yeah. of, regardless yeah. of time, it's still. I, again, I hadn't seen it in years. I was surprised at how well it holds up. Um, I'm actually looking forward to showing my kids and see. If I can get them to sit through it. I, yeah. I was really surprised just in, in the the amount of time it took me to to see it again. I, I keep going over the special effects. That some of the the set design of yeah. when they're lifting the body up before the electricity comes. Oh, in, it's awesome! That's a scene that's just so beautifully done yep. and, and almost perfect when it comes to everything that they put together for it. You cannot make it any better, and yet I think with Young Frankenstein, they <laughs> used the same set and the same stuff it was still there really i think i, I think I, you might be right I, yeah. think I've, I think i've heard that somewhere i, I think they, well, they really used, i mean it was, much it, of it was 40 years later yeah you know so i mean it so wasn't it like the amount of time somewhere yeah. yeah it's it's amazing i mean that's a whole nother podcast or a whole nother it is really how much it. stuff like we 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 as fans revere this stuff yeah how much of this shit just gets thrown out oh these days these didn't days didn't, pretty much didn't i see like yeah. the like Uncle Owen's house and fucking New Hope is still like out there. Yeah. Like, oh, oh yeah. Out, in out. Tunisia, yeah. that stuff is yeah. still yeah. all out there. Yeah, because um, no one's gonna touch that. The very, the very, <laughs> la- it, it finally, I think, either fell apart or got broken apart. But the very last usable jaw shark was over a oh, yeah. a junkyard in L.A. It's as part of the sign for like thirty years. It was just there. Why is that fucking there? <laughs> right, right, you know what I mean? Why the fuck is that fucking there? <laughs> Why is that not in someone's collection? Even. If I had the money, even though it was dilapidated, I'd go, get that in my fucking collection. I think even Spielberg would have said, fuck that thing. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Truth. <laughs> Truth. All right. So anyway. that was uh, number two of uh, – thank you, Larry. Thanks thank again you. for hey, coming in and doing thank that. Thank you, guys. Uh, oh, you know, I did want to ask one other question because yes. I asked this last time. Okay. So we're doing the eight movies. Yes. On the uh, on the listing of the eight movies, would Frankenstein be closer to the top or would it be middle or bottom? Because we haven't gone through them all yet, so I don't want your ranking. Yeah. But I, I think when we do the last episode, we're going to do a ranking. But I'd like okay. to know kind of where where would this fall? Is this like a middle? You said you liked it more than Frank, what, what Dracula. Are we, what are we ending with? The last one I think is uh, the Creature of the Black Lagoon. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, that could be a f- yeah. Because yeah. it, 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 the, the release dates were as so. Right, right, right. right. Dracula, right. Frankenstein, The Mummy. Um, I think I get this backwards. Invisible, the Invisible Man, yeah. Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah. The Wolfman, Phantom of the Opera, or those are reversed. And the last one is definitely Creature. Well, Creature is the only one from the fifties. Isn't Phantom from the twenties? I, yeah. the, one version is the. There's another one. The okay, other okay. one is is from the um, okay. from the 40s. <clears throat> okay. Or 30s. All right. So is this ahead of, uh, of, of, of is this closer to the top of your list <laughs> yeah. or is this middle? Um, yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. All right. Yep. All right. So that's cool. it for us once again. Scary Larry's House of Universal Horror. It's been fun. Oh, it has been fun. It's been fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. Good Thanks one. for coming, guys. Thanks for coming. Yeah. 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 And yeah. if you hadn't noticed, we got Larry a big bag of popcorn and some yeah. Coke Zero. Yeah. And and I guess next time we'll have to get him a little cocaine too from that, <laughs> wow. from that last comment. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> maybe 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 just a snort ski. <laughs> maybe a bump. Maybe a bump here and there. We'll see. Just just a snort ski or we'll, a bump. We'll see what happens. John, what do you say? <laughs> see ya. It's over, Johnny. It's over! Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off!